On one magical night in November, Columbia River High School made a little bit of history. Oh my gosh, this is so cool, like two women's teams um, in the same season, like back to back, 30 minutes apart. I just thought that was crazy. You heard that right. The girls soccer and volleyball team took home championships the same night, less than 30 minutes apart. There it is. Columbia River. Hello and welcome inside Vancouver Public Schools. I'm Nick Bull. We just showed you the moment the River Volleyball team clinched its second consecutive state championship. But what you don't see is all of the hard work that got them there. As you saw for the volleyball team and the soccer team, that hard work paid off. During tryouts, all the girls were really fighting for like these spots and we had a drill that was going on and the intensity was super high and everyone was just pushing each other to be like better and that was the start of the season. I was just like, oh, this team could win a state championship. That's where it started for both the soccer and volleyball team back in August. I think it's the effort that we put in like constantly like throughout practice like our best competition was ourselves like we just pushed each other so hard in practice that it was just it just made us so much better. For the volleyball team the defending state champs the regular season was a breeze but then Ridgefield knocked them off in districts. It was a very good experience it humbled us and then we came in without a huge target on our back and we went in and we were like, okay, this is it. Like, we have to actually prove to people now that we're supposed to be number one. They made their way through the state tournament only to face Ridgefield one more time with a chance for revenge, and they took advantage. I just kept taking deep breaths because I kept, like, I was trying not to go in the future and just live in the moment and kind of just take it all in point by point. And Columbia River being presented the championship trophies, an unblemished record. On the pitch, not too far away, the soccer team was slugging it out against Seaholm. With less than eight minutes left, the Rapids made their move. Hey, go, 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 go! There it is. There it is. Then the challenge was to hold on. And I was like, we can do this. Like everybody on the field, like had it in them. And I mean, it was a lot of pressure, but I mean, we could all handle it. Like um, we knew we could get it done. So. That goal was the final margin, and the Rapids hoisted the trophy. As they celebrated, both teams learned about the other's success. So we had just won, we had our trophy, and we were singing the fight song with uh, a few of our students that came down and the parents. And then uh, one of the students that came down, Mason Turner, told us that soccer won, and we all went ballistic. The teams feel like they share something special with each other, and all of the girls we talked to credit their school and team cultures. I think it just shows that we have a really good environment at our school, um, both soccer and volleyball. You have to, you're with these girls like six days a week practicing for so long. So I think it's really important to have a good environment and, on both of the teams. I mean, it feels like kind of unreal. Like it, like it doesn't really like set in to like for a long time. Um, I mean, it's just like so cool that I got this opportunity um, at River because I couldn't have done this by myself. I mean, it's definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity. Like you can only say you're a state champion, like. I mean, like, it's, you can't really say that unless you do it. So for a high school like student like my senior year, it really makes it, like, it, like fulfilling, you know what I mean? It's great. And to, like, go down the line and tell, like, peers, like, you know, people I work with or, like, my kids one day, it's just, like, a great, it's a great thing. As I mentioned, this is the second consecutive state title for the volleyball team. The soccer team won a state title three years ago, and three of the seniors on this year's team were on the last championship team. What a pair of incredible programs at River. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Nick Bull.